Hey first graders, this is Mr. Fries, and today we're going to do a math problem with Scoop, and two of her friends are going to have a contest, the turtle versus her chicken. Please read carefully for important information. Turtle had 16 eggs and broke 9 of them. Chicken had 1 egg and then gained 6 more. Who has more eggs, turtle or chicken? So let's see what they both think. And it sounds like there's two different math problems, one for turtle and one for chicken. So turtle thinks, well, I started with a total and then lost some. So turtle's sentence is going to be about taking away. Chicken said, I started with some and got even more. I cluck for RDW. So Chicken wants you to read the problem, draw a picture, and write two number sentences, one for Chicken, one for Turtle. Please press pause and try this problem. So since there are two people in my problem, I need to split my paper into two. And I'm going to label one side T for Turtle and one side C for Chicken. And Turtle starts out with a bunch of eggs, so I'm going to draw a picture of 16 eggs, and I'm going to make two different five group rows. I'm going to make my top one with 10 in it using two sets of five, and I'm going to make my bottom one with six in it, five, and one more. So I have 16 eggs, and like we just showed, 16 is made up of 10 and six. Since 9 of the eggs broke, I'm going to subtract 9, and that's going to give me my answer for turtle. Well, this is easy to do in my picture, and I like the 10 uh, group row because I can just cross off 9 and leave one of them left. From there, I can either count on or add on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 left means turtle had seven eggs, and I need to write the word eggs with it. What turtle did mathematically is he decided I couldn't do six minus nine, so I'm going to do ten minus nine. So turtle takes the ten minus nine, and that was the one left in our top group, and then he needs to add back in the six more from the other group, so another way that turtle got seven. Now we need to figure out who has more. So I need to look at how many eggs chicken has. Well, chicken's picture is kind of easy because chicken started with one egg and then chicken gained six more. So I'm just going to draw six more eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we could just count all. That's probably the best strategy. But this is a basic math fact. You're looking for one more than six, which is seven eggs. So I found how many eggs turtle has. I found how many eggs chicken has. Now i got to answer the question, who has more? Well, it seems like they set me up in this question because neither one has more. Seven and seven are the same. So my answer is going to be they have... this would look like on a wreck and wreck. I'm going to use my wreck and wreck two different ways. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use it to count on. So I'm going to make nine and then count on till I see I have six on the bottom because 16 is made up of 10 and six. So I'm just going to count on until I have six on the bottom, which means I know I'll be moving this red bead because it's five and then one more. So ready? Count on with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I see I have 16 on my wreck and wreck, and I only moved seven. So that's the difference. We could do this problem by a different way on our wreck and wreck. We could start with 16, and now I'm going to try and take nine away. Well, if I look at my bottom row, I don't have nine to take away there. I only have six, so I can't take nine away from that. 
but I do have 10 on my top row, so I can take 9 away from that. So I'm going to move 9 away from my top row. That will only leave 1 on top, because I know 9 is 1 less than 10. And now I can count again and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Two different ways to use your rec and rec to help you solve math problems. Let's check out our science fact of the day. Our science fact of the day is about the moon. You see the moon every night, but the moon is not still in the sky. It orbits the Earth, meaning it moves in a circle or an ellipse around it. It's about 250,000 miles from the Earth. It takes about 27 days to go all the way around the Earth. Sounds like one month. And the moon is actually not a source of light, even though it lights up. The reason we see the moon light up is it's reflecting the sun like a mirror. Pretty cool. Have a great day, first graders.